as you may have already known, it's, it's about Dwayne Haskins. And first off, I just want to say that my prayers are with the family. Um, this is never a easy thing for anybody to to grasp. Um, so as I get into it, uh, you know, it's just a very hard pill to swallow, you know, as a as a fan and and even not just as a fan but just just as a person um you know that deals that has dealt with you know a loss that close and you know we can sit here and we can talk about you know his shortcomings and you know what he didn't do and what he did do and everything that's really not the time for that. This was a life that was tragically cut short. And, you know, you just never know what's going to happen to you the day of. And tomorrow is not even promised either. And in looking at Dwayne Haskins, you know, his future was was bright. You know, it was going somewhere. You know, he was on the Steelers. And, you know, it was nothing but room and opportunity for him on that team. And honestly, I don't really have any words. This this just came out of the blue. And this this... Being a Redskins fan and experiencing loss like this with even Sean Taylor, I mean, it it's, I don't know, it, it just literally takes the wind out of you because you're just like, it's like you're in awe, you know, and you're just not understanding, well, how, you know, how could this happen? But like I said, tomorrow is never promised, and we just never know, you know, what today holds for you as well. And another thing that, you know, I want to address that this world, this world is like really, really, really sad when I read some of the posts or some of the comments off of the posts that people put Twitter posts, Instagram posts, and the comments from some people were just very disheartening. This is not the time to talk about this man's shortcomings on and off the field to sit there and make jokes like, it's funny to sit there and to paint this man even after, you know, he passed away in, in even news articles, media, just painting him still as, you know, oh, he was, he was this, he was that, you know, um, a person that you know, pretty much didn't do much on the field. What does any of that have to do with what's going on right now? You know, a family just lost somebody near and dear to them. A mother just lost her son. You know, and and it's like, what has this world become? And then you got fans, so-called fans, and... I know I'm probably going to ruffle a few feathers, but I read comments about, man, we gave him so much, so much crap on and off the field, but it's, it's mess. It's, it's, this is hurting me, you know, that, that he's passed away. And I'm like, 
Did anybody even care about any of that when he was alive? Even though he didn't know a lot of people in person. I'm sure he read some of the comments. And it's like. What has this world become that we can sit here and we can talk about people and, and I mean, pretty much kick people while they're down. You don't know what this man was going through personally. We were not there to see that. And for people just to act like now, like they so-called care now, did you care when he was still here? Why do we wait until somebody something has happened to someone or somebody tragically dies or passes away. And then all of a sudden we want to feel sorry. Why didn't you take that time to just be like, you know what? Let me make it right. But sadly too many of us wait until the last minute and don't take that chance to make it right. Even if in, even if that person is not receiving of it, you did your part and you apologize and you let it be known. Hey, I just want to be the bigger person and I want to apologize. This man was a human being, no matter if he was labeled an athlete. Take that athlete off the table. He's a human being still with feelings. He's got a right to his peace, just like everybody else. And who are we to jump and go at these athletes like they do? Take a look in the mirror and look at yourself. He was just out here. living his dream, wanting to do what I'm sure any other young man who played high school, I'm pretty sure played ball for a long time, went to college, got drafted. And I don't care if, I know our franchise ain't the greatest. It's not. It's proved it over and over again. It doesn't matter what franchise he would have went to. Because, like I said, tomorrow is never promised. We wouldn't have known that. This world has just grown so numb to people's emotions. And social media has even made it worse. People feel like that that opens up a door for them to just say whatever. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. That doesn't give you the right to go and to leave nasty comments under somebody's post or under somebody's picture. They didn't invite you. And if you're not on their page for the right reasons, then get off. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, get off. You're just looking for attention. And then another thing that's saddening is he's an African-American man. These headlines. And and what's funny is I was just thinking about this. Around the time that this happened with Sean Taylor. And I remember it was a, um, I believe it was a, a, a radio show. And the guy pretty much said he got what he deserved. Like, how how spineless can you be? Like, who are you to sit there and to tell somebody they got what they deserved? You didn't live in that man's house. You didn't, you weren't around him. So who are you to sit there and say that? And sadly, Race has divided this country so terribly. It is ridiculous. 
and the way that athletes in the media get portrayed. It is saddening. They don't never catch a break. They can't catch a break from fans that, that want to sit on social media or want to feel like they have a voice for all the wrong reasons. And then they got to turn around and then they got to deal with the media painting them as some monster. When we got a lot of monsters creeping around, but they don't ever get exposed or there's always some excuse. Let's stop making excuses. It don't matter the skin color. It's dependent on that human being. So let's stop painting people a certain way or putting people lower than other people because of the color of their skin. That is Sad. He was just out here trying to play ball like every other NFL athlete that has ever come across those sidelines out of that locker room. This world is just, is just so sad. We want to sit here and act like we're criticizing and use that as a crutch for our negativity. No. Being a fan... They don't pay me to do that. Logically, I can sit there and I can take that L or take that W. I won't complain. I want the best for my team. I really do. Yes, it frustrates me. It really, really does. But I'm not going to get on social media and start bashing people, start making people feel a certain way. I want to say people are talking about them, those, those athletes that at the end of the day have feelings too. His time with Washington came and it had went and he moved on. He had a right to move on to something else. And let this be a lesson that If you ain't talking to somebody, you got beef with somebody, clear that up. You don't know how much time you got. You don't know how much time they got. Forgive and move on. Let's start with all of this hate, all of these these comments, these nasty comments. You don't know what people are dealing with behind closed doors. Would you would you want somebody to treat you the way that you're treating them? Saying things underneath your posts, underneath your comments. You being an athlete and you got to sit there and you got to read all of this hate. It's a lot. But I really do hope. That someday that people can see that these athletes are first human beings and not just athletes. And we ought to treat them as such. And for folks that may not agree with anything that I said. It's okay. But we got to get to a point where we had to come to a common ground because this is just ridiculous. So in that, Once again, 
Our prayers go out to Dwayne Haskins' family. And I just pray that we all can do better. But until next time, 